Thanks to support from the National Science Foundation, the TerraGrid is the world's largest, most comprehensive distributed cyber infrastructure for open scientific research, combining the resources of nine partner sites. And one of these sites is at Purdue University. We are now uh, affecting science in a major way because researchers from all over the nation now have access to very powerful uh, computers, uh, lots of storage, high bandwidth visualization um, facilities so that we can do new science, science that uh, in the past was not able to be done because we could not link all these resources together. Purdue's Rosen Center for Advanced Computing offers vast computing resources to the TerraGrid by harvesting unused compute cycles in idle instructional computer labs and libraries, and by making available huge amounts of research data in areas ranging from global weather statistics to satellite data to chemical catalysts. More and more researchers are demanding um, easier access to data, to computational tools. So that's where we're moving to. And, and as we move forward, that's the direction we're going to provide more service-oriented applications, software, and data uh, so that the scientists um, can focus on their domain research while we provide all the computing and uh, data access infrastructures. Researchers rely on Purdue's computing infrastructure and expertise to tackle vital scientific problems that cannot be solved through experimentation. Today's challenges call for computationally intensive simulations that require the extensive computing resources of the TerraGrid, which are being further developed by more than 150 people working together in a coordinated, integrated fashion. We are now able to work with all these other campuses around the nation and build out the cyber infrastructure, which is going to become the model for a national grid, if you will, so that eventually you'll see all universities connected in the same manner.